Okay, good. So now what we are going to do is we are going to do steps in uh, publishing to Google Play Developer Console. All right, and I seek everybody's uh, apa the assistance to actually listen eh? uh, the step by step. Don't go and do things not yet I ask you to do simply because if not, we are going to waste time to go down and see your laptop where you made that mistake and so on. So always click when I say so, okay? And I'm going to guide Dominic. Dominic is doing for his first time. All right, for others, you must go to your right top, okay? Click new app, okay? Cindy, can you see that? I cannot hear you. You are mute. Oh, sorry. I think this is my first time as well. So I. So you will go exactly the same like Dominic. Yep. All right. Good. All right. So. Okay. So everybody ready? Uh, Juliet ready? Are you need ready? All right. Everybody ready? Yeah. Uh? Those who are publishing. Okay. So mm -hmm. now click. Dominic, listen to me. Now click create app. This one, the blue one. Create app. Okay. So now we put in our app title. This is what user can see in Google Play Console. Okay, please put in your app title. Must be maximum 50 characters. A space is a character. This one is the full name, is it? Yes, it's a full name. Full name as long as it's in the name. Yep. Alright. Okay, now go down. Default language, remain whatever you see. Okay, go down. App or game. So, we are doing what? We are doing greeting card. So, it's app. Okay, go down. Free. Okay, go down. Okay, declaration. We have to declare this both. The first declaration is that we confirm we meet all Google policies which we are already complying. Lah. Okay, I don't teach you something that cannot comply. And secondly, we accept US export law. So for us, the concern is actually the copyright and trademark. Although we are not US citizen, ladies and gentlemen, we must follow their regulation. That's why I emphasize a lot on the copyright trademark. So please do remember. Okay, everybody done? Now, Dominic, please click create app on create your right. Apps. Here, this one. Create app. I show you here. On your oh. right bottom. Okay, click the blue button on your right bottom. Okay, click. Hang on for a while. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, look in front. All right. Okay. Everybody sees this? All right. So, we just go a little bit down. Okay. Can you see this word? Set up your app. Can see? Cindy, can you see? Yes. All right. So, now, Dominic, click at view task drop down. Okay, all right. Can you see this app access, add, content rating, everything? Yeah. All right, so now we are going to do one by one. Let's do together. Okay, the first one, Dominic, please click app access. All right, great. Okay, all right, let me explain a bit. All functionality is available without special access, meaning that all our pages in our menu, okay, users are able to go in without any restricted okay restriction even if they have to put in like for example our review they want to review they have to actually sign up okay then they can give review but that is not considered restriction because the moment they sign up automatically they can go into that page so that's not restriction but if there is a page that is there is restriction then you have to give a demo for Google to actually go in and check. So for us now is number one, without special access. Tick the first one, Dominic. 
Okay. All right. Okay. Now go see your right bottom. Save. Blue button. Save. Okay. Hang on for a while. Okay. Listen first, everybody. When I say back now, okay, look at my cursor. When I say back dashboard, this is what I want you all to click. Not back here. We don't do that. We go back dashboard here. Okay. Boleh clear? All right. Now, Dominic, please click dashboard back. All right, good. Everybody able to follow? Yes. Anybody that is missing, okay, you are not able to follow, please stop the class. Let me know so that I can assist you. Okay, let's do the second thing. Okay, Dominic, click ads. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, ads, very straightforward. The question is, do you have ads? So, first one, yes, my app contain ads. No. So, all of us put ads. So, click yes. Tick. Okay, now go to the right bottom. Click save. Okay, hang on for a while, Dominic. Everybody done? Yes. Good. Okay, now go back to the back button via dashboard above ads. Yes. Good. That's great. Okay, everybody okay? Yes. Alright. So, now we do the next one, which is content rating. Please click on content rating. Yep. Okay, listen first. Okay, remember when we went to AppMob just now, we also did some rating. We, we actually put in some restriction on the sensitive category because this is what I mentioned to you just now, whereby when we publish to Google Play Store, we need to rate our app. And when we rate our app, there's two areas. One is the content of the app. Another one is actually the type of advertisement. Okay, so I'm going to remind you on the advertisement. Okay, you must answer accordingly what you do yourself. Okay, so now click start questionnaire, Dominic. Okay, great. Okay, hang on. Now put in your email address. Preferably, just put in your developer account email address. The second, the second... No, the one that you paid, the 25 USD. This account, this email okay, that okay. you go in. Add. Add. Okay, everybody done? Have you put in your email address? Okay, let's go down a bit, Dominic. So, okay, if you look here, you see the categories. There are about five categories. This is reference news, social networking, content aggregator. Okay, as we go down, there's game, entertainment, and then there is utility, productivity, and communication. So, when you build your app, other app after this, you must make sure it is the, exactly according to the category or nearest to the category. But today we are doing a greeting card. So greeting card is the last one. Utility, productivity, communication or others. Okay. Anything not inclusive of above is all others. Okay. Click that and click next. Okay. All right. Okay. Now remember. This question, we have to answer accordingly, inclusive, not only your app content, also your advertisement content. Alright, so now the question is, does the app content violent material? Okay, violent material, uh, you know we are doing greeting card, so greeting card definitely no nothing violent in it. But advertisement now, okay, Dominic, you, you just now, you block, right? Yeah. Okay. okay, listen. Those Dominic block so he can answer no. Okay, but I'm going to show for those people who don't block. Okay, you need to click yes. But the second question and the third question, you can answer no. Why? Because even in advertisement, the category of number two and number three cannot put in advertisement. Okay. Advertisement also have regulation. It cannot be so gross, okay? The violent cannot be so like real like that and so on. So even if you did not block, now you have to answer yes. The second and third, you answer no. Clear? Boleh? 
understood? Okay, but for Dominic, answer no actually. It, he can answer no because he blocked. Alright, then the second category is sexual. Okay, sexual, if you didn't block sexual in the sensitive category in AppMock, and confirm your app doesn't have any sexual content, eh? you answer this still no, even if you don't block. Because why? Because if you answer yes here, your app will have app content sexual material. That is not okay, lah, eh? unless really you really have sex material. Alright, the violent yes is covered already for whatever type of advertisement that has sexual content. Alright, this is more, more things if you actually put in more sexual content. So, our answer is still no. Okay. Alright, then the others, okay. Uh, Dominic, you can continue. Okay, offensive language, confirm no. Dominic, continue. Okay, then control substance, these are drug, of course, no. You actually must answer accordingly to your app. Mm, yeah. Age-related, like cigarette, no. Okay, but if you do marketplace, and in the marketplace you sell cigarette, uh, so you must answer yes. Uh. Okay, does the app natively allow change of need? We do have uh, chatting in our app builder, then if you have those, you have to answer yes, but for greeting card, no. Okay, we are not putting that. No. Does the app share current physical location? No. Okay, does the app allow purchase of digital goods? We don't have. Okay, no. Go down. Does and all this Nazi propaganda? No. Okay, is the app a web browser? Of course, no. Okay, everybody okay? Able to follow? Okay, so now go down and click save Dominic on your right bottom. Save. Alright, so now questionnaire is save. Now click next. Okay, now go down. So as you can see, these are the ratings that you are already uh, being calculated automatically by Google. So it's good to go. Now click submit. If you want to dispute whatever result they give you, uh, you have to just do the questionnaire again because the, the result is being based on what you answered. It's automatic. Okay, click submit. And you see now you are done and you can see here that you can actually start your questionnaires. Whatever rating you give, uh, Google still have the final say to agree or not uh, to agree or disagree with your rating. So, if they disagree with your rating, you need to come back and do the new rate. Okay? They might reject you because they disagree with your rating. Alright? And normally, they disagree with the type of advertisement that they appear. Because a lot of people, uh, they think rating is only for the app content without realizing that the content rating is also inclusive of the type of advertisement. Alright, but if that happened to you, just come back and do the new rating lah. Alright, or what you can do is that you can also go to add more, go to the sensitive category and then block a lot more things there. Alright, to comply with whatever rating that you have done. Okay, so now let's go back to the dashboard here above content rating. Please proceed, Dominic. Okay, if you have any issues, things that is not clear, please ask. Eh? Okay, let's go to the next one, which is target audience. Click. Alright, so now let's go down. Alright, so our target audience, ladies and gentlemen, let's click 13 to 15 and above. 13, 16, you must tick all. 18 and over. Okay, below 19, uh, 12 and below, uh, you must comply to their Children Act, US Children Act. Okay, for us, in, uh, for us we don't focus on that, uh, but we leave it for you to explore. But always remember, if you want to do this in Google and Mob, there is also another areas that you need to actually now 
go to family's policy then you can tick below 12 but before you even do that ladies and gentlemen please make sure your app comply to the children copa act or whatever it is you check under the us law okay now click next all right now you see now go down there's some wording there okay could your store listing unintentionally appeal to children? Okay, now you have answered all the questions before. But now, Google is now asking you again. Okay, what will appeal to children? So, children will be trying to find app in the Play Store. So, they go in. Okay, now they go in and they open Play Store. Okay, children we are talking is below 12. Huh? So, they look like this. So, what do they see? So, Google, they only, normally children image is the one that capture the eye. So, what will they see? Now, whether your icon will actually appeal to children. Then after that, you click the children. Eh, icon nice. They, they are interested to go in. They click now whether your screenshot appeal to children or not. So, I do not know what screenshot you are doing. You must answer honestly lah. Whether it will appeal to children or not. So answer Dominic. Everybody must answer. So your yours Dominic is Chinese New Year lah. So Chinese New Year may likely appeal most likely. I'm not sure. Okay, but if Hari Raya you put certain image, it will appeal to children. Certain image for Hari Raya, children will don't care one. Okay, so Chinese New Year is also the same. Some Chinese image, it might appeal to children. Some might not appeal to children. Okay, so you answer accordingly and click next. Alright, so they are just giving you a warning lah because Google still have the right to disagree with whatever you put in. Okay, click save. Okay, so now let's go back to the dashboard above the target audience word. Yes. Okay, now go down. We have few more to go in. Okay, now click news app. Okay, is your app a news app? So we are doing greeting card. Answer is no. All right. For all our members before, because before we also teach how to do newspaper app, news app, now under the new law after COVID-19, Google do not allow you to do any more news app. Unless you are the owner of the source, meaning that now you are BBC, now you are CNN, or in Malaysia we have a lot of private reporter. Uh -huh. yeah, they, they do Facebook Live, they do YouTube, they have their own news channel. Uh, that is still considered yours. Okay, as long as you can prove that news channel where the Im the information is being put in the app is yours, then you can do. For us, we cannot do anymore. So, answer is no. Now, click save. Click save. Okay, awesome. Now, go back to dashboard. Click at the dashboard. Yep. Okay, so let us see now whether we have done. Okay. So, okay. So, now we have done that. All right. Okay, so now let's now go. Okay. Okay. Now they put it easy and do it here. Okay, let's now click select an app category. Okay, Google keep on changing. Now we have there so easy for us. Okay, app or game? App. Others, are you here? Following? Ah? If you have problem, let me know. Okay, then the select category. Dominic, click the drop down. Okay, now we want to find first and foremost the near, the actual what our app is. Or we cannot find the actual, is the nearest. So, if you go through there, there's nothing about greeting card. Okay, so you can choose. Either you choose the uh, personalization or you can choose the social. Okay, there's two. So, choose whichever you like best. Alright, there's social, there's also personalization. Alright, okay. Okay, for text at this point of time, don't put yet because uh, it is actually disrupting with uh, the keywords. 
Alright, so we hang on about text. Uh, before we actually put in the text, then after that we realize all the keyword get jumbled up a bit. So we don't put a text. Alright, so now we go down. Go down some more. No, 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 not safe. Go down. Okay, now put in email address. We advise put in the Google you pay 25 USD email address. Because this is a greeting card. If you build a business app for your company, then like for me, I'm appsmasterbuilder.com, then I put support at appmasterbuilder.com. Okay, but this is for personal one, put in the Google account. Okay? Hey, add my dear. Okay. Alright, phone number is not compulsory. Website is also not compulsory unless you want your girlfriend to call you. Can lah. <laughs> no need lah. Okay. <laughs> Alright. So, okay. So, external marketing remain as it is. Now, click save. Okay, great. Okay. So, hang on for a while. Let me take over. Okay. Look in front, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Now, we want to browse down. Okay. Let's browse down. Mm -hmm. Okay, what we want to do now, we want to go to, okay, let's go to the app content first lah. Can you see policy? Okay, click at app content. Click. Alright, so now, can you see this? Privacy policy, click start. Okay. Dominic, remember the HTTPS which we pick up from the builder? Did you copy paste in the Word document? Please now copy paste here. Do you know what to pick up here, Dominic? The privacy hey. policy in the editor public, in the setting just now, terms and condition, HTTPS, which I ask you all to copy. Yes, that one, there. Yep, that one. But your H is missing. Nanti short while you put in the H. Copy. H press no. Okay. Go back to the knee. Paste. And make sure you put the H. There's no H. Alright. Good. Everybody please copy and paste. Okay. Done. Cindy done. Done. Okay. Others also. Juliet okay. Ayuni okay. Semua okay kan? Yeah. Alright. Mm -hmm. Great. Now click save. Okay, go back app content, Dominic. No, 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 that one. Okay, let me just check this because sometimes Google keep on changing. I think we have done everything here. We are good to go. All right, good. Everything is there, done. Okay, hang on. Look in front. Look in front first. Okay, I want everybody to go up a bit and see. Can you see grow? Can everybody find grow? Yes. Alright, now I want everybody to click at main store listing. Click at main store listing. Alright, great. Okay. So now we need to put in our app detail. So we have put in your app title. Now this is the short description, maximum 80 characters. You see here. Then after that, the full description, maximum 4,000 characters. So now please copy paste, Dominic. Where is Ki Hoon? Eh? She's not around. But she's, she's taking care of her mother actually. Okay, done. Are you need okay? Cindy okay? Juliet okay? Done. Alright. Okay, Dominic. Oh, Dominic. Yeah, yeah. This is too short. Uh. My standard, too... this is too short. Later on, you yeah. can add on. Alright? Okay, okay. Okay, alright. Go down. Okay, so now we need to put in the graphic. That is app icon 512 times 512. Upload. Yes, that's why I asked to put in one folder. Make it easy now. Okay, hang on. You see, it will actually... You see, now they will automatically round your icon. So, that's nice. 
Oh, definitely your icon will appeal to children. You got that lady, that young girl. Okay, alright. So okay now. Then wait ah, wait ah, wait ah. Wait, wait for me. I'm looking for my folder. Wait. Ah. Uh, is the five one two icon right? Yes, correct. Ah, uh, wait. Okay, done. Right, good. Okay, so now, Juliet, done, uh, Juliet. Okay, let's now go down a bit. Okay, go down a bit. Okay, now this is feature graphic that you are supposed to do yesterday. The 1024 times 500. Please upload now, Dominic. In Google, it must be exactly, uh, if you put 1023, they don't accept already. See? Eh? Dominic, see, your size is, they cannot miss by even 0.1. Go and check your picture. Is it correct? 1024 times 500. It must be exactly. Even 0.1, they don't accept. 0.1 more, 0.1 less, they don't accept. Click new. Hang on a bit lah because your, it will lag a bit kan. Okay, 1024. 500. Okay, click create. Okay, that's correct. Okay, now pull in the image. Oh. Put at the corner first and pull. Put at the corner and pull by the side, by the corner. Why like that? Cannot see one. Alright, okay, cukup. No, don't. Okay, now pull by the side. Yeah. Pull, make sure. Pull, pull. Okay, good. Okay, pull. Okay. Alright, now save. You can always double check here, you see, on your right. Okay, now this put feature graphic. FG, good enough. Okay. Alright, so let's do again. Okay, and try upload. Are you sure this is the one? Okay. You see, now can go in. Just now, most likely the image was not accurate size. They want yeah, yeah. Google one accurate. Huh? Cannot miss by one dot. Okay, now let's go down. Others able to lock, uh, upload and uh, hang on, Dominic, uh, Ayuni, Manesh, Cindy, Juliet, everybody okay? Eh? Okay. Ayuni okay? Saya saya pun kena resize tadi. Dah. Oh, dah done. done already. Cindy okay? Do you need to resize? No need. Done. Alright, good. Okay. So now I'm going to explain these screenshots. Okay. Let me show first. Hang on. Okay. You see, this is phone screenshot. Okay, so that is for us. Like us, we use our normal phone. That means that is us. Then as we go down a bit, this is 7-inch tablet and this is then 10-inch tablet. It is recommended to put in the screenshot to all the phone 7-inch and 10-inch. Why? Because we want our app to appear in the Play Store console in the tablet 7 inch and also the tablet 10 inch. If we don't put the screenshot, they will not be able to see that. That meaning the tablet users. Okay, so that's why our recommended is for screenshot. Okay, now listen Dominic. 
All right. Okay. Uh, your, how many screenshots do you have? Four. All right. So now I want you to upload in the phone number one and number two. The the one, uh, snip the one or the okay, the the ready one the nice one the ready la. one ah uh. the, okay, okay. the nice one okay do ah uh, that one this one okay number one and number two yep all right click open okay so now go down a bit go down a bit the seven inch put number three yes. Okay, then go down the 10 inch put number 4. So that there will not be a duplication of images in the Google Play console, ladies and gentlemen. We can put 444 in each, but then in the Play Store, it will be 4, then duplicate another one, set duplicate. We don't want to do that way. Not nice. Okay, done. Okay, let us see everything go in or not. Let us check. Done. Okay, good. Sometimes because of internet service, you are not able to put in. Okay. Okay. We are not teaching how to do videos because we teach you how to create apps. We teach you how to do graphic. But video is something that you could also do as a marketing tool. So what will happen is that, let me show you in the Play Store console. Okay. So, okay. Normally games, they will put in, uh, they will put in this, Okay, let's see. I think this is, you see, when it is a game, you will see that there is a video here. I click, it's a video. So, this video is actually a YouTube video. You must upload into YouTube. Let me close this. You must upload in YouTube. Then the link, the watch, the URL link, you copy and paste here. Okay? So, now click save. Please do take note, a video will encourage more download. Okay? Okay, we have done that. Okay, look in front, everybody. I don't want you all to make this mistake because this is a common mistake. Okay? Look in front. Okay, now we are going to go into release. Okay? Okay, I want everybody to focus now. Look in front. Don't look at your, don't look at your play console. I want you all to look in front because I'm going to show you where to click because this is common mistake that people always do. Okay, I want everybody to see. You see release. I want everybody to click at set up. Can you see set up? Okay, now we click at set up. So when we click at set up, we will have few things here. Okay, let me show. We will have app signing. We will have internet app sharing and advanced setting. I want everybody to click at app signing. Okay, click. Okay, done. Able to follow? Cindy, are you okay? Cindy, are you okay? Uh, doing now. Must remember, go to set up. Not production. Set up. Okay. Click then app, app signing, right? Then you see app signing. Okay, now click at app signing. Okay. All right, now click. Can you see exactly the same like Dominic? Yes. Okay. Cindy? Yes. Okay, now click create release, the blue button. Yes, click. Okay, hang on. Okay, can you see create new release? Okay, now click create new release. Okay. All right, everybody can see display app signing? Yes. Cindy, are you okay? Juliet, I know okay? Yes. All right, now click continue at play app signing. Mm -hmm. All right, so for first timer, you will see this. And you have no choice lah. You already paid 25 USD. Eh? <laughs> no need to read. Just as that. But for second time, this will not appear anymore. Alright, great. Okay, now go down a bit, uh, Dominic. Okay, now upload the APK file. Upload. Now upload the APK file. Yes, that one. Alright, so we hang on for a while. It will take some time to upload.
Alright, so okay, you see this is already final uploading because everybody using. So you see those are need. No need to touch anything. Alright, that is good. Now click save, Dominic. Below here, click save. Okay, great. But we cannot go preview release yet because we have to go and select the country first. Okay. Look in front, ladies and gentlemen. Can you see production here? Yes. Okay, now click on production. Okay, click on production. Okay, now we must click. Can you see countries here? Can you see countries here? Yes. Okay, now click on countries. Alright, now we need to actually add the country. So, can you see this? Add countries and region. Okay, now click. Okay, look, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, although we are here in Malaysia, when we publish to Google, we want to take into account the advantages of creating app is to reach whole world. There is 3.5 billion smartphone users. 80% are Android users that has play Google that have play console. So because of that, okay. This is all the country. What we need to do, don't let go and click one country, one country. There's so many countries. So what we do is we just tick there, then all the country will be ticked. Even if your market is local, meaning your market is Malaysia. But you see, there are a lot of people traveling. There's a lot of Malaysian traveling out. So while they are in the airport, while they are in that country, they can still review your product. If you don't click other countries, when people step out, so our nearest country is Singapore. They go to Singapore, they open console, they cannot find your app already. Okay, so each country will have different play console. And that's why what we want to achieve is that we have high ranking in all the country. Okay, good. Everybody okay? Okay, now click on your right bottom, add countries and region. Click. Alright, so 172 countries. Click add. Alright, awesome. Alright, hang on. Uh, I want to yes? ask uh, just how you press all... How you select all at one button? Uh? At the top. At the top. Oh, okay, okay, okay. At the top. Alright, okay. Okay, now everybody able to do? Okay? Oh, the third, third okay. Alright, so now please now click back at release. Can you see this release? Click at release. Alright, good. Okay, so now let's now click edit. <laughs> click edit. Awesome. Okay, everybody here? Yes. Okay, now click review release. Click review release. Okay. Alright, okay. Hang on for a while. Okay, that's three warning. Let's check the warning. Okay, alright. The first warning, actually, they are asking you to put address. Okay, we know that already. Okay, address is not compulsory for greeting cards. But if you are doing e-commerce app, okay, if you are doing e-commerce app, okay, if you are doing e-commerce app, uh, address is compulsory, ladies and gentlemen, under Google Terms and Condition. Okay, your app might be suspended if they realize that you are you have e-commerce and you did not put advertisement. Okay, the second warning and third warning. Okay, this is because Google are now moving to .aab. So, for us, we are still using .apk. But if one day Google put compulsory must be .aabb, .aab, our programmer will upgrade to that. But the different in terms of size, ours are just 0.05% higher, maknanya a bit larger than dot A, B, A, A, B. So, don't worry about that. Then, the second warning is the Java and Kotlin. Don't worry. It will not affect your apps uh, downloaded. and not any. In future, Google will, uh, our programmer will remove this. But at this point of time, uh, programmer said nothing to worry about. So, don't worry. Unless 
you see there is a red warning. A red warning meaning what? Meaning we have actually did not do one of the step just now. What we did is all the compulsory steps is required. So if we have missed out, then there will be red warning. We must go in and do back. But if, like for example, the first warning, your app cannot be published yet. This one is actually for e-commerce is supposed to be red warning, but they are not able to identify your app has e-commerce or not. So what they do is that they see your app in the setting, don't have address, they will give you this warning. Okay, so now please click start roll out to production. Yep, roll out. All right, okay. So now you will see your app is in review. Okay, even if you go back to Google Play Console, you will see that your app is now in is production but is in review. Google will uh, take about five to seven days for approval for a new developer like Dominic. But those people who have been publishing consistently, uh, most likely the review time will reduce. Okay. Okay, thank you ladies and gentlemen for being with us in Apps Master Builder. So we have shared with all of you how to actually uh, publish to Google Play Store by showing an actual um, guide that we do in our class. And I sincerely hope that uh, this has helped all of you. For those people who have not joined us yet, please do check out uh, our website appsmasterbuilder.com to learn more how you are able to create your own app without the need to learn any coding and publish it to Google Play Store and Apple App Store. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos in future. So with that, again, thank you so much. All the best.